I am going to discuss some important strategies to improve outcomes in sepsis care in our organizations. Sepsis is now recognized as a medical emergency. What it means? It means that timely interventions and timely recognition can save lives in sepsis. Sepsis continues to have high morbidity and mortality despite a better understanding of pathobiology and despite care processes which are very well defined now. There is an ever increasing demand for a consistent and easily implantable definition. For a new onset organ dysfunction, sepsis always remains in our differentials. Sepsis patients are found everywhere from emergency to ICU. It could be diagnosed from community or from inpatient departments. The diagnosis is often missed and is delayed, which causes worse outcomes. Early recognition is needed for early intervention. Early sepsis team response helps deliver early advanced care in critically ill septic patient. At the onset, sepsis could be difficult to diagnose but easy to treat. Left unattended, it becomes difficult to treat and easy to diagnose. So we need to spot sepsis to treat sepsis. Right care, right time and right place of care are important prerogatives in treatment of sepsis. Often, the diagnosis of sepsis is unclear and there are many confounders. The simple question which every clinician need to ask is, could it be sepsis? Sepsis is life-threatening organ dysfunction caused by a dysregulated host response to an infective etiology. We understand organ function is a time behavior. Early targeted intervention provides significant benefits with respect to outcomes in sepsis patient. Next important concept is MAP sepsis. What do we mean by MAP sepsis? We mean microbiological, anatomical and physiological diagnosis of sepsis, which means we give a comprehensive diagnosis of sepsis. This renders completeness to diagnosis. It renders easy access to definitive care for septic patients. There are multiple stakeholders in clinical management of sepsis patients. We need to have ownership of septic patients and most of this time the ownership of septic patient lies with the intensivist. We need consolidated and uniformly binding treatment plans for optimizing outcomes in sepsis. Early recognition and diagnosis requires triggers from clinical data and laboratory. That is why we have early biomarkers, that is why we have a uh, database diagnosis of sepsis. Sepsis code is one such intervention. Sepsis code focuses on faster and reliable mobilization of resources to provide early and definitive care for sepsis patient. Sepsis code and sepsis clock are proven strategies to improve care process in septic patients. Some is not a number and soon is not a time. In the fight against sepsis, every second matters. The assessment, the management has to be done in a time-bound manner. The interventions, the team stakeholders, everyone should surround the patient in a very, very time-bound fashion. Quality parameters in sepsis management should be followed very, very stringently each and every time. Certification, audit and quality parameters relevant to sepsis care should be rolled out for all the units. They should be compared in between the units. Training in education of sepsis diagnosis and management requires interdisciplinary efforts and we need to train our frontline healthcare workers, our medical officers and nurses. Advanced sepsis management courses and other relevant modules need to be drafted for training guidelines. These courses should be workable and it has to be contextual looking at our Indian context. The sepsis campaign needs to be strengthened with involvement of all stakeholders at every level. Those not improving despite best care, alternative diagnosis should be relooked into for such patients. Access to advanced sepsis care and adjuvant therapies are important in that subset of patients who remain critical despite best care. At the end, spot sepsis, stop sepsis, save lives. Thank you.